this video is ultimately the highlights of approximately eight hours spent out here on Rancho del Arroyo multiplayer, and it's been a while since we've done a video like this, but full disclosure, I looked back over the last couple of weeks, specifically at the Call of the Wild videos, and there wasn't really that much special for the end of the month montage, so I thought coming out here to Rancho for a good amount of time and just doing a video like this would kind of help us to catch up to that a little bit, and we ended up with a kill that I've wanted really since Call of the Wild came out all the way back in 2017. I cannot believe what we are looking at right here as it's escaping when we try to spot it. A level 1 melanistic whitetail buck. I don't think there's anything else interesting there, but we haven't killed a mellow whitetail buck on the new system. Finally one shows up, and it is a tiny spike, but I guess that'll work. I mean, especially for a low scoring one. I don't mind taking a moving shot. I wasn't so sure it was going to just drop immediately like that, but I can't believe it's taken that long. I want to say... We killed a mellow whitetail buck right after Truex, which I think was spring of 2019, and since then, there's not been any at all. So, real quick, I'm gonna try to get a screenshot here of Rascal sitting beside it, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> kill figure. The only hunting we've done on this map really has been whitetail hunting over the last couple of weeks, and this particular server has been whitetail drink time for a bit. Come over here and find a 104 scoring bronze melanistic whitetail buck spike. I just thought of something. We have, I think, a, a piebald and an albino spike like this mounted. We might have the ultimate spike huddle whitetail mount. We'll have to see, but that could actually be kind of interesting. As we are just kind of moving along here, we have our second interesting animal of the day. And it is a level 3 pheasant, but I'm just looking at that. That is the molting plumage type, which we don't have any diamonds of. We only have common diamonds. So that's one I'd really like to get. And actually, today, I brought the Fiona 20 gauge uh, shotgun. So when we get in here a little closer, we'll have to crack that out and try to take it with that. It's probably my favorite looking shotgun in the game. And for rabbits and pheasants... I thought it might be a cool weapon to bring along, so hopefully we can get in here and get him flushed and take him with that shotgun, or he can, for whatever reason, fly our way, and if we can not miss, we can just drop him there with what I think is the coolest shotgun in the game. I hope it's not going to try to say he was landing, but not only did we just get a diamond molting pheasant, with the Fiona 20 gauge, it's a big one at 21.2. That is so cool. I can't believe it just flushed right at us. The last level 3 that we shot, it flew from really far away as well, but it didn't fly towards us, so it became a real big pain to track down. That surely could have gone that way, but I don't think it really could have gone better. There he is. This guy has been quite a pain to locate after spooking from his drink zone. Just a level 3 albino mule deer, but I'd like to try to get the shot in as soon as we can, as long as he'll step into this opening before he somehow disappears again. I just think that's going to be the way to go. He's been nervous. A lot of deer did come back into the zone, but he did not. And, I mean, rather than let a broadside shot that we can make go, I figure we'll take that and call it good, and it actually is kind of like the Melanistic Whitetail earlier. He's not huge, I don't mind taking a maybe slightly riskier shot, although that one maybe not as risky as the shot on the Mellow, but that's two rare deer now and an uncommon diamond pheasant, so evidently a day of uncommons and rares today. Pretty cool area for him to actually fall at. Got some nice scenery there behind him for a couple of screenshots, but for our third animal of the day, a 156.4 albino mule deer buck. I really like this particular rack. Like, it just looks like a young, like, I guess mule deer with promise to me with those couple of splits and brow times. But, ooh, we almost hard shot him there on the walk at 200 meters. That would have been so, so cool. And it is kind of what I went for. I kept that shot low in hopes to be able to drop him, specifically for the montage. But, you know, as long as all we got to get... Eventually, shots like that are going to happen, but 
it would have been neat, especially at that range, to do it. This is bizarre. We have a 254 to 294 level 3 whitetail right out here in front of us, but I don't even care about that right now. Over here, I mean, I'm just about certain that's a melanistic, and like a big melanistic, so game crashes have been so bad today. I think we're going to kind of hurry up, try to get this level 3 down, and then go for that longer shot on the mela. I just do not want to lose him, so as soon as this guy lifts his head, we're going to try to get a hard shot in there with the M1. That is step one complete. Now, going to range that again real quick. Just about 320. I think we can make that shot. We'll have to be careful, but with his head up, I think we got that. And that is a Mela. No doubt. That's a Mela? And he was a gold rack. I'm not wasting any time. I'm going to grab this three, and then we are gonna hightail it across the lake to get our hands on that guy. That's unreal. Gonna make this as quick as we can, actually. I didn't think that was gonna make diamond. I thought it was gonna be a 254, but a 258 diamond whitetail, which we'll tax and do something with, but we have other priorities right now. We're not wasting a second here on any screenshots. We are claiming our 212 melanistic whitetail buck and taxing him before anything crazy happens. Look at that deer. I mean, long shot at 316 meters. I can't even believe that. I swear it's as if Rancho is trying to prove me wrong. I've been calling it like kind of like the small game map, and it's been almost all deer today. A level 5 mule deer this time, and quickly we can get a hard shot in there and drop him, but that's one that we only have a blonde fur type of, so kind of a cool rack we can maybe add to the trophy lodge. And I think this is our first diamond mule deer from Rancho. Hard shot him there, and yeah, that's the rack with the kind of touching brow tines in the middle. So, kind of cool. One, like I said, that we have a blonde fur type of, but I would say, especially with the changes uh, from Rancho, the common fur type looks a lot better than it used to, so that might be a little upgrade. So, as it turns out, eight hours on Rancho can result in some pretty amazing trophies. And just quickly to mention the couple of whitetail, that was why I didn't do my Great One grind before the uh, update. And I mean, the Melanistics weren't from the grind, but we kind of knew there was a chance those fur types could change, and we we got exactly what I've been talking about wanting to get, a gold Mela, and it's going to stay that way because the fix has already happened. So I'm so stoked to get those couple in the Trophy Lodge, and I genuinely have not placed them yet, so I don't think we're going to delay. We're going to head right over there and take a look. I genuinely don't even remember the last time we shot something so special that we ended up redoing a significant portion of the Trophy Lodge, but we now have our albino whitetail taken out of this slot and our new diamond mule deer in here next to an old piebald, but since we shot him today, I wanted to include that part before we head off to the main part. A 324.3, like I said, kind of like the brow tine touching rack. We have one other one of those that is a blonde, but as I mentioned at the time, I like the commons. I think that looks good. And this is one of my favorite rooms, by the way. So adding a diamond mule deer to that, I think is pretty cool. But the rest of our additions are all out this way. And like I said, it's kind of been something that I guess was a long time coming, getting a melanistic whitetail. But because we got him, I thought we should put the albino that we had from the original Great One grind up there beside him. So if we can get the scores to show a 212.7 melanistic, next to a 232 albino. That was kind of when the scores were different, so that 232 is probably more similar to a 212 now, but I just think that's really, really neat. And I mean, I'm hoping maybe we can get an even better one during the Rancho grind, but that opens up so many possibilities. We could now have, if we wanted to, a Pieball Diamond, Albino Diamond, and Melanistic Gold. And if we ever got a second great one, two great ones fighting as a multi-mount, is a very real possibility, and I wouldn't feel bad about taking the great one out and putting that melanistic whitetail in there, but that all depends on how things go with that grind. But then, 
Another thing I really, really wanted was that Molting Diamond Pheasant. And by the way, both of these diamonds happen to be a similar score. Both are 21.2. The Molting actually is a little bit bigger if we look at the decimal. But just an uncommon Diamond Pheasant, I've wanted that since the beginning. I really think that just makes for such a cool multi mount. You have like a common and an uncommon diamond. And hopefully, maybe a Diamond Gray will show up sometime down the line. But I've got to go into the second lodge and take a look at our all rare tiny whitetail mount. My memory of the piebald is that it was also a spike like the albino and melanistic, but apparently he is just a little bit bigger, but how perfect. We have that multi mount now, and we've got one of all gold or better two diamonds and one gold that we can put together with the bigger whitetail but i want to keep that right at the top of the staircase i just think that is a hilarious way to come up the stairs in the hall of shame and i mean i said i wanted maybe even a better melanistic on the rancho great one grind a five volt spike would be pretty cool as well just for that but what a day out on rancho two melanistic whitetail a couple of diamonds an uncommon diamond pheasant but the melanistic gold whitetail that's one that, I mean, how many thousands of whitetail have we killed and we've never had? To get it on Rancho not too long after they fixed that fur, t fur type uh, issue, I just feel like everything that we've waited on and we're so patient about was worth it. And that's such a cool thing to finally have that in the lodge as well. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.